Ice Cube here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, let's play Celebrity True or False with the founder of Big Three Basketball, please. Hit the... Uh... Celebrity True. Keeping it real. Or false. Uh, okay, this is all from uh, from the internet, so we'll see if these are true or false with, uh, with Ice Cube. Now, hold on a minute. You actually... Here's the first one. You actually own the Chevy Impala that your character Doughboy owned in Boys in the Hood. Do you still have that car? False. I've never owned that car. Never once? No. So that is False. That's false. Would you have wanted to own right that Chevy Impala? Um, not really. Not really. Okay. No. All right. Very good. Uh, next one. Uh, true or false, you have a two-year diploma in architectural drafting. Is that true or false? It's a certificate, and it was one year. Just one year? One year. Yep. It Did was. They, they crammed four years into one year. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have designs, if you will, on being an no. architect at all? I mean, no, no. I was doing it. I was into it. Then, like, the stuff we were doing with NWA started taking off. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to do was be at that school. I was ready to leave. <laughs> you were ready to take but off. I, but I, you know, stuck it out. I graduated, got my certificate, and I think, you know, my mother hung it up somewhere, but I never looked at that thing since. Which school was this? Which it was, was called this? Phoenix Institute of Technology. I don't even know if it's there no more. P-I-T? Like P-I-T. Yep. Man. A fake DeVry. <laughs> <laughs> fake DeVry. Yeah, it's like a fake DeVry. Okay. Uh, here's another. I got two more. Uh, next one. You got the name Ice Cube from your brother because girls were calling the house asking for you all the time and that you were too cool for your age. True or false? They were calling for him. It's true. They were calling for him, and I would pick up, you know, trying to holler at him. You know, I was like, man, he got a big head. You don't want to be with him. You want to be with me. I'm, I'm a little bro, bro. And uh, he found out, and back in the day, they would, you know, if you had an old refrigerator, they would put it on the curb and, you know, the junk man would come pick it up. And, and we had one on the curb down the street that was there for days. He was like, you know what? Slam your ass in that freezer <laughs> on the, at the end of the block. When they pull you out, you're going to be an ice cube. You know, kids die in freezers, right? So <laughs> so uh, when I walked out the house, you know, I didn't want nobody to call me O'Shea no more. I'm like, my name Ice Cube. And so it just stuck. They start calling me Cube and never called me O'Shea since. <laughs> yeah. Last one. Uh, Jerry Curl wigs used in Straight Outta Compton were valued at $15,000 each. True Man, how am I supposed to know about a Jerry Curl wig? We had the real deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jerry the- did our curls back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about wigs and how much they cost. I'm pretty sure they're expensive. And you know, I've heard about gangs going in and stealing, like, wigs and extensions out of, like, nail shops and hair shops. So... I don't think they cost 15000 If they did, somebody got beat. Because I'm weird. Someone was kind of tired. They needed work. Well, I'm just wondering if you were a producer of the film, you had to you had to okay whether the wigs were yeah, I did. passable or not. Yeah, I did. I did. I was really uh, pretty anal about that because some Jerry Curl wigs can look comical. And it's, this was not, no comedy, you know. So yeah. we had to make sure they look right and it didn't look like you know, the Soul Glow family from uh, Coming to America. (laughs) (laughs) You know? Yeah. Wow, this is... uh, So we're mostly uh, fake. Mostly fake Yeah, 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 yeah. Go figure that. Them dudes that had no real... Go figure that. Not no real Jerry curls. (laughs) The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.